Hello, it's your girl Victoria, aka Tori Indeed. I have recording artist Zoe Maurice and Mafuzo Islam. He is a state assembly candidate for District 24 of yeah. New York. So that's super cool. I got it, right? Yeah. <laughs> super, super cool. I'm excited to have actually both of you together because I feel like collaborating with the artist and a state assembly candidate to get your voices heard and your campaign across to those in the neighborhood is amazing. So I absolutely admire that. And I'm really excited to kind of dig down into how that came about. As many know, Zoe Maurice is not a stranger to Vibe to Vibe. And we welcome you, part of the team, the family, the because we all we do is interact with each other and keep uh, each other accountable with our goals and things we do. And um that that's what um vibe to vibe is about as well as from like my vibe to your vibe, your neighborhood to my neighborhood. So I'm really, really excited about this one. Me too. So Zoe, tell me tell me a little bit about how you guys um ended up collaborating or what um, is it exactly that you guys are doing? So, I saying, um, how would you feel about doing a song for District 24? So, at first I was like, how long do we need it? And they said, we have a week. What? <laughs> well, they didn't really give me a date. They really just said as soon as possible. You know? <laughs> but you, you know me. Totally but we out. know that. We know. We know exactly what that means. Yeah. So... I was like, okay, okay, the pressure is on. I've never did something like this, but I got a lot of people who live in that area. So it was just kind of cool. I was like, all right, I want to do it. So I was stressing the whole week about making this song. And um, it just magically like just happened. Like I wasn't even going to use the beat originally, but my producer contacted me and he was like, I think I got the beat for you. You should check this one out. So I checked it out and I was like, nah, I don't really, I, I don't know about this one. I'm using something different. And then I went to sleep one night and I left the headphones in my ear and that beat kept playing over and over and over. So when I woke up, I was like, all right, this is the one. So <laughs> I ended up making the song. Um, they flew me out here to New York and then um, we kind of just got busy real quick. Wow. Real, 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 real quick. That's awesome. So, I mean, that sounds exciting. And uh, with a lot of pressure, without putting, applying pressure, right? Mm -hmm. It's one of those, like, yeah, we need this as soon as you can, as soon as possible, but, like, yesterday. Right. Um, and That's probably I, and, exactly what they said. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and knowing you, I know that anything you do, you always put your all into it. I see you as a businessman. I see you as an artist as well, but you really have a good vision, a great vision, and I always admire that. And um, I'm really excited. I want to know, like, for my, my Fuzo, like, how did you, when you heard the beat, when you heard the song, was there a specific sound you were looking for? What exactly, what, like, what exactly ran through your mind? Or Yeah, we were, so the whole idea behind it was, like, because we were going through COVID and, you know, we can't have town halls. We can't have people, you can't have, like, a town hall where we could speak with the people. So the idea yeah. of having the music is bringing the town hall to the people. So the idea is we're going to have something that's going to get catch people's attention. It's going to get the message right. across and then people are going to come up to us and then have that interaction. So we, but you know, I still maintain that positive message without it being corny. So right. Zoe managed to do that. <laughs> Zoe managed to do that. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, like, obviously uh, you are very, you're, you're running for state assembly, but at the same time, you don't want to be corny, right? So for that, I feel like but by you saying that, it's just like, yes, this is my career. This is what I do. And this is what I'm born to do. But I also, I'm still me and I still want to connect and I, and I still want to be, you know, cool or not cool necessarily, but, you know, be able to pers be personable. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's that's cool. Like not a lot of people. I mean, I guess that right there automatically makes you stand out as a candidate. Um, tell me a little bit like about your background and how you got to where you are today. 
Yeah, it's, it's like you exactly as you said. I'm just a normal person. At the end of the day, I'm 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 a regular person trying to pursue something that will bring this idea of politics down to down to the people. So that that's my reason for embarking on this. But my background, I uh, I was teaching at uh, um, uh, Fordham University and New Jersey City University, uh, sociology right. and economics, and um, I had a social entrepreneurship I started called. Jahal NYC. We work with uh, stay-at-home mothers and new immigrants and try to get them into a career higher education. So oh, that, wow. that's where my organizing capability comes from. Um, and a lot of the people that we work with happen to be within the district. And we saw the, the discontent, the guy who's been in office, has been in office for 10 years. Before that was his brother, before that was that. So they got a 60-year family dynasty out here. Wow. That's, if that's not consistency or, as you said, family dynasty, I don't know what is. <laughs> that's so, inspiring that's yeah. so cool <laughs> just trying to change just trying to change all of right. it that's where I come in from yeah. yeah so what exactly um like like I don't I don't want to say that you're expecting but what would you what change would you want like what changes yeah. or how can you contribute to your district district 24 at the end of the day what I want or what I hope will happen is um so we're out in eastern queens so that's like richmond hill jamaica briarwood okay, okay. queens village uh, that area and, um i think a lot of people kind of see that area as not engaged apathetic to politics doesn't care and i don't think it's because of the people i think the people in charge don't do their job of reaching out and and connecting so the change that i hope will come as a result is we bring it down to the people we don't it's not you know the whole power is not limited to the person that's in the office so um, if you have trouble, at, you know, if you got a pothole on your street or you have, you're an artist and you're trying to make your, your way, you're trying to find stability, this, the hope is that this seat will, will serve everyone and, and that right. seat will be accessible to everyone and, and uh, it doesn't feel politician-y, it doesn't feel... Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or it's like I could talk, it's like talking to your, your neighbor or exactly. some, a, like a neighborhood representative, more like, like we're all equal. Exactly. You know, you're just the leader, not like, you know, there's always that meme that I see online. Okay. It's like a leader is with within the crowd and like a, a boss or a ruler. They're the ones like in front dragging the crowd. Like, no, we're walking together and we're doing this together, whether it's a pothole, if you're an upcoming artist or you're into artwork or you want to give back to your community. Like I'm that person you want to speak to to try to make it happen. Exactly. I think that's and, amazing. And the idea that politics is just limited to voting, that like move away, like trying to get people to move away from that, that it's not just voting every two, four years. Like the fact right. that I reached out to Zoe and we're making music, that's a part of politics. Where this is a the sound of the movement. That's what it, this is, right? And, and right. it's not limited to just one thing. Wow. I love that. I absolutely love that. And I have Zoe, right? Zoe Maurice. <laughs> amazing guy even very personable himself and he delivers for sure i know that based on personal experience but zo how would you like to continue contributing combining the music to get his campaign around like how do you know like it like for an artist to dive into politics it could be tough even as an artist you know you don't want to lose a fan base or you don't want to mislead anybody so how, how how can you put that into your own words well when I started working with uh, my Fuzu, this is the first time I combined music with the politics. And it was That's pretty- That's what I know. From what I know, this is new to me. Yeah, it's, new. It, was, it was definitely new <laughs> to me too, but it opened up a thought process that I've never thought of before. It opened up the thought that, you know, you can use this to change the community. And by doing that, you have to team up with other people. Right. So what Which you I never will, had a problem doing. No, nah, I could get I, you gotta you gotta shake hands. You gotta shake hands. <laughs> and with my Fuzu, like he stands for something positive and he really is what he speaks <clears throat> about. He really is with the people. He really is, you know, not doing this for show. He's really he really cares about the community. He really does whatever it takes and he's down to earth. So the fact that he thought about this is because, you know, everybody everywhere listens to music. So Absolutely. 
you know, the fact that he wanted to bring something that we all grow up on or we all listen to and everything like that, the fact that he wanted to bring that into his community was real dope to see. So I was so down to do that. And I think that by using the voice and, you know, getting it, you know, it's a little bit of a hypnotizing thing. If you make a song and they listen to it over and over, it gets stuck in your brain. And, right. You know, so by saying positive things, you're kind of implementing positive changes and positive ways into people's minds. Right. So it was it was it was real fun to do this. Like it was mad fun to do this. We went out, we shot the music video. That's super um, cool. Me and, Where can me they and, find it? Is the music video available to see? Well, we're still working on the videos. The we final, supposed, the final touches. Yeah, it, it it was a lot. We got a lot of footage. We got a lot of good footage. It was real fun. That's super and, cool. and the thing is, me and my Fuzu, like he was with me. You know, it wasn't like a politician was just like, all right, go go make this and bring it back. No. He right. actually took time out of his day when he was busy. My man, he was involved. He was, he was involved, involved from yeah. from beginning was, to end. Right, I, I was, feel that, and you know, I'm off of, you know, I'm like very spiritual. I'm I'm Buddhist. You know, I'm like very everything has to align. So I'm right. all about that. And even just stuff, even like talking prior um, to this, all three of us who were just like hanging, and we're just hanging out right now anyway, like right, right. now, right. Yep. And it's, I feel personal. I don't feel like, oh my God, like this guy, he's like <laughs> going to run for state assembly for District 24. And I'm like, I feel like, you know what? I want him to get it. I feel like he's very personable. He's very positive, good energy. And if if he can't find a solution, I'm sure he'll he'll make he'll make results, right? Right. Um, were you hesitant at all getting involved into politics? Nah, I actually love it. Like, I think I want to continue to do it. <laughs> That's it, great. That's it, super it, cool. It, it's going to create something like, you You see what's going on in the world. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, everybody's getting divided and it's getting messed up. And it's like we're going backwards. So no, you're right. if, you know, if I could help out in any way, you know, I'm a little bit of an activist. My team is all about this stuff. So I'm down. I'm down. I'm in here. That's awesome. And Mafuzu, um, what can you say your experience was? like working with an artist, are you like the first person in your district to do something different? I think that I'm the first person period to do something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't, I don't ever, yeah, I don't think I've, I've ever heard of um, a song to come out of a campaign. And uh, the reason we thought of it was like, it hasn't been to me before. So it's like, it's exciting. You, you want to have fun while you're doing this. And you want like, when other people around you are excited, that's you get excited and everyone's happy and excited. That's kind of like, the nature of doing all of this. I'm right. excited. <laughs> I don't even live in District 24 in New York. <laughs> and is there anything particular you want your neighborhood to know, your neighbors to know something about you or, you know, anything that you want them to focus on that they might not know? Yeah, the fact that um, local politics is the place where we could create actual change in our government. And, you know, people get worn by like presidential elections where like your vote because of the electoral college, your vote doesn't count as much. But local politics, things are decided in a matter of one or two votes. So if you really want change, you know, go out there, go to the local politics. But I could understand if you feel disheartened by it because our politicians haven't done their part in in reaching out. Um, We we still need help. We still need help on our stuff. We um, we need volunteers. We need donations to run all this stuff. We're running. Oh, but feel free to to mention that, you know, (laughs) mention that that's what we're here for. Anything you're looking for, whether it's for, uh, you know, like you mentioned, volunteering or things to come together in the community. You could mention all that right here and and we could even put it in the notes and the caption. So anything that can help. Yeah. So the website is MFOR24, M424.com. We're, uh, and we're on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Mafuzul, M-A-H-F-U-Z-U-L-F-O-R-2-4.com. Um, we need, yeah, we need to have phone banking to call people up to get out. Uh, early voting is happening right now, meaning you could go into the booth and, and vote right now, even though the, the date of election is June 23rd. So our right. early voting goes on until the 21st. There's one day gap, and then 23rd is the last day. So um, for yeah, early yeah. voting, it counts as a full vote, right? Or... Say it again. Does it still count as a full vote? Yes, yes. Early voting does okay. count as a full vote. It's just a new program where you don't have to wait until that the day of election. You could vote 
like a week early, more or less. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, it's not the same polling site, though. So you know how we, you know on the day of election you could call, you could vote at any your the regular polling site is is okay. limited. So there's only like one or two in our district where you could. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You have to be in the district in order to vote. You have to be in the district, and you have to be a registered Democrat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And Zoe, do you have anything you would want to let him know, like how this has changed? Obviously, you you looking to stick with it. Um, is there anything you would want to say personally to Mafuzu? Um, yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for um, getting me involved and having so much faith in me. So um, this is like, that's pretty big to make up, <laughs> to make a, yo, to make the sound for the whole district. That's, that's like, cool. <laughs> that's a big responsibility. Because while we were shooting the video, a couple of the neighborhood kids was like, I always wanted to hear a song about District 24. And we added some extras into the video, and they were like, I always wanted to be in the video for District 24. Because they feel so included. Was, so yeah. they're feeling included right now. Mm -hmm. And it's such a big <laughs> deal. So you, I definitely, man, even if, you know, just, just say it doesn't work out this time around where, you know, he doesn't get in the position, I would recommend that you continue to do this because – you're such a genuine guy, and you know what I'm right. saying? Right. Like, well, you spent a lot of time with him, so. I got to actually know him, you know? So right. I definitely, like, that's my dude. I got you. <laughs> that's my dude. That's super <laughs> cool. I love that. I absolutely love that, especially, you know, pol even in music, there's politics, like he mentioned before. Everything comes Everything. down to politics, right? Yeah. Everything. Mm -hmm. And for me to see someone like you, so bright, so ambitious, collaborating with someone just as like, I feel just as, and I feel like he's just as ambitious as you, though, you know, and, and vice versa. You each are following your own passion. And for it to even go to the next level, you guys are collaborating. And I, I think it's amazing. And you know me, I don't really get into politics on the show. Mm -hmm. Like, outside of the show, y'all yeah, talk politics. But officially, like, I, I don't. And I wasn't even hesitant. As soon as you said, I have this guy, you were, like, so happy, so excited. <laughs> and I felt really genuine. Like, the way you talked to me about him, the way... You described everything. I felt like, yo, I'm gonna do this. Right. I'm gonna do this because you know me. I'm like, I don't do politics, relationship, or religion <laughs> on my show, and it's just like, now nah, we're doing this. So I <laughs> thank you for actually trusting in me to be the one to even um, come out with it with media and everything. I'm sure you're gonna have more down the road, and I can connect you with other people doing media. You know, I think you definitely have both strong, valid voices, and it should be heard. I, I felt like it. you were the you were the perfect show for it. You're the air of the streets. Like everybody knows about Tori and D. <laughs> everybody knows about Tori. <laughs> Thank so you so like, much. You, you've been Thank doing you for it having for, us. Yeah. yeah, you've been doing it for a long time. You've been impacting a lot of people, and you're so supportive. So like, Thank you. Yeah. I know. I try to lay low, and sometimes they're like, "Wait, I think I follow you on social media." I'm like, "Well, I'm from Jersey." <laughs> yeah, you're that girl from New York. No, I said I'm from Jersey, but <laughs> I go, you know, and it's cool. I mean, a lot of people. It, you're. It's crazy how just one post or one even this how could it influence somebody i get so many messages saying oh my god you inspire me you encourage me i said i'm a regular person like you with the same school loan debt with the same <laughs> goals trying to build buy a house build my credit like i have the same goals i'm right. regular just as you and people thought like oh you're a celebrity no not near that Oh yeah, trust me. I would give back a lot to my community if they that was the case. Like a celebrity, they do. So you've been around where people yeah. really thought, like, "Oh my gosh, Tori, indeed." Indeed. <laughs> so you, mm -hmm. you know. So mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they got it wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! But no, thank you guys. A anything? If you guys want to share anything, um promote anything whether it's something personal not even having to do with your music or even the campaign so let I've me know in, like i've been in orlando recording an album so i left new jersey before coronavirus was a thing corona maybe like february right. 2020 because i dropped the album called flyboy fall in december of 2019 and that album started taking off and i've never seen numbers like this before you so always take like, off, but I did see you share it on social media. That's super amazing. I just, and it's on yeah. all major digital platforms, right? Mm -hmm. So we're taking, you know, Strictly Business Media Group is my record label. It's the company. It's independent. 
So I decided wow. to when I made when I made and I told you when I came when I came public to become an independent record label, I said it on your show. Correct. That's when everybody first found out that I was doing it. You know, people started contacting me after that show, like you're for real, blah, blah, blah. So I banged it out. All right. So after that, <laughs> our numbers started going crazy. And I was like, all right, we got to keep this momentum high. We got to keep doing right. it. So I flew out to Orlando and I teamed up with an engineer named Greg Barney. Shout out to Greg. And we just doing the whole quarantine every night. Wake up, record, go to sleep. Wake up, record, don't sleep the next day. Wake up, bang, bang, just banging it out. So we have so much music that's wow. about to come out. So this summer is about to that. be crazy. And it's good. It's just keep getting better and better. That's amazing. Well, I look forward to that. And, you know, I, I actually do listen to your music. And I actually like it. So I would definitely, definitely give you some feedback on that. Um, mm -hmm. I love you as a person, as a being. I love your music. So, you know, you're still one of my top shows. I'm going to say that. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> and Mafuzo, is there anything you'd like to share that you've been working on or um? that you know it doesn't have to be campaign related yeah yeah no i'm i'm, I'm foremost I'm, I'm glad that you're having me on the show i'm i'm excited to see your growth and the growth of zoe and then thank us you grow together and, and it's, see, that's what it's all about yeah you know it's just nice people being nice with each other you know <laughs> so, right so passionate like, people nice yeah. people every yeah. genuine people all genuine that people. <laughs> and yeah. then you just like you say you just don't know where things go, you know, you just have to have that openness, that that positivity and things build on each other. You don't know where this is like our interview is going to go. You don't know where our relationship leads us to. Right. So always having that open heart to, to possibilities, you know, and opportunities. I love so. that. That's that's very well said. <laughs> <laughs> that's very well said. I'm super excited. I, you know, I would love to see what's next and for all of us, you know, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. with your upcoming campaign. It's very um interesting you know yeah. around the corner yeah. tuesday this are, tuesday are you getting nervous i'm always nervous man <laughs> <laughs> i'm always nervous you gotta just gotta so, roll with the punches right you know that's what it is <laughs> you're gonna say something? wow sure? oh no i was gonna say i mean you, you you mentioned that before like you're always nervous but yeah. like it's just i think it's just because you're so like genuine and you're you're just like you're yourself you're yeah. you're you're my fuzzle, like yeah, exactly. That's exactly what my friends would say. Hey, you're my fuzzle. You're the result. Oh my god! I think well, that's thank what it you is. So you know, when much. we when we do things like you know politics, celebrity stuff, people people forget at the end of the day they're still human. They're still a normal. They're person. human. Yeah, you're not a robot. Not, not. I'm vulnerable. I get nervous. I get scared. Oh just my like god! Else, See, that's know? that's what a lot of politics may not speak on. You know. Yeah. The reality, like, listen, I'm still human. I still get nervous. I still get yeah. butterflies. I'm yeah. super excited. And, you know, you, of course, you have a presentation. You have to yeah. um, present yourself. But at the same time, you're not forgetting who you are and you're not yeah. hiding who you are. Yeah. So that's something I see coming from you. Like, you're you're real. You're a real a real candidate. <laughs> like, okay. real. Like, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and then and down the line, you know, if I become unreal, hold me accountable. Hold everyone accountable. That's the I'm important. I'm going to call you. Call me out. Call me out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I definitely appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. And, it, and it's tough based on the times that we're in. Yeah. Like, what's going on right now makes it tougher to be a politician because you've got, you're like, everybody's watching you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They want sure. you to handle all it. They think you can handle all the issues just like that. They don't know you right. have to go through this person and that Like a person. system, right? It's a whole system. So yeah. shout, shout out to that. That's yeah. intense. <laughs> it's, about, it's all about holding back the ego. We talked, we had a heart to heart, me and Zoe, about like, oh, yeah, that's knowing, awesome. knowing where to hold your tongue, knowing where to hold your anger, knowing to hold your ego and putting forth everything you know putting forth the fact that you know you're just a person that there's so much happening in this world and and that it's about the people before your individual actions you know so it's all wow. that because oh, private private ego messes so many people everything, up in the everything day. up oh man <laughs> they're like i deserve this or i need that or they need to listen to me and the pride and the ego breaks yeah. up friendships relationships business you're right like, you're absolutely right you got to know when to you know tuck that under the pillow yeah wow
Uh, That's amazing. Very well worded. I, I I appreciate both of you, and I look forward to what you both have coming up. I want to keep you know keep in touch, keep you accountable. Maybe we'll do this again. Definitely part I mean, two. I yeah. mean, we could do this forever. You know, Thank there's you. no there's no length or limit. Like anytime you guys have an update, come back, come back on the show. You know, Zoe, Zoe's no stranger to vibe to vibe. And it's like, as you're growing, I'm still growing too. You know, I have my own personal goals and I have my own platform and everything, but it's keeping each other accountable. We're all passionate. We're all ambitious. We're all working hard and why not work together? It doesn't mean that, oh, you're still stuck talking to Tori or you're still stuck interviewing Zoe. Like, no. Nah, we're growing this we're is growth we keep each other accountable so i thank you both um the vibe is real especially here the vibe is real, <laughs> the um, vibe is real. i'm tori indeed and i'm out with my special guest <laughs> zo maurice and mafuzo islam and i'm really excited stay tuned guys thank you thank you <laughs>